Have you ever wondered what Terraria would look like if it was Minecraft? Well, that's exactly what I'm actually going to show you right now, and it's insane. So I'm using the Minecraft texture pack made by Melstar, which turns Terraria into Minecraft, and you might already see there's a whole bunch of changes. Also, I'm using a little extra texture pack, which changes the guide. So you can see, we also have some other NPCs here, which get changed as well. So it turns either into Steve or like a villager. Then also you can see the inventory, the sounds, it's all Minecraft. Let me just delete an item and you'll see they've also changed the imagery sounds. That really satisfying pop sound from Minecraft. Super cool. But what about the trees? Well, first of all, we have these blocky oak trees, which look just like the normal Minecraft default oak trees. And we also have this like cherry blossom looking tree, which is also a tree in the new Minecraft biomes. Let's check out some of the other biomes though, particularly the trees. These are like those massive living wood trees, but the jungle trees are what look the coolest to me. Now, obviously these living wood trees next to them are way bigger than jungle trees. But if you're actually a Minecraft player, you'll know that jungle trees in Minecraft are typically kind of big. And these exist in Minecraft. I really like how these jungle trees look. But the corruption trees, though, these trees kind of look nasty, not gonna lie. But the purple vibe's kind of cool, I guess. Also, let's just appreciate this action bar that they've changed on the top left as well. It just looks sick. What about the crimson? Ooh, okay, the crimson trees. We've got the nether trees from the crimson forest in the crimson biome. Really like that touch. Okay, that's very lore-friendly. I really like that. This terraria pack, really well made. Ooh, a little fox. The red squirrel is changed. Wait. Let me zoom in. The red squirrel is changed into like this mini Minecraft fox. Oops, that was cute until we killed it. <laughs> oh, zoomed out too far. Don't like that. Okay, so before I actually show you the bosses, which I want to show you in a moment, I'm actually going to show you a different mod, which I've also downloaded, which should complement this. Now, this mod, as you can see here in the item spawner, is called Strange Weapons. Now, it is in Chinese. As you can see, it has Chinese text. But this adds a whole bunch of weird and wonderful weapons and items to the game, like swords made out of trees. But we're not here for that because we're actually using this because it adds a whole bunch of Minecraft stuff. That only adds a few basic stuff. Stuff, like we have a minecraft diamond sword we have an axe and also a diamond pickaxe but it adds a few different minecraft items which makes sense for this video right that we use minecraft weapons to defeat these mobs and bosses which are coming up and i also think the strange weapons mod might add some like minecraft mobs as well but i really have no clue but just look how cool this sword looks and they look absolutely massive as well <laughs> but i think that's also my other mod that's doing that and adding all these cool item effects but yeah we can have a, a giant diamond sword so obviously we're going to check out the bosses right so let's just go through them and see what they're like first up obviously the king slime let's spawn this bad boy so the king slime you can basically see okay he's just a giant blue slime from minecraft and this diamond sword it don't really do that much damage i don't think it's an end game weapon but let's just damage him down a little bit let's beat this dude up and he should usually at least oh here we go he has some mini slimes so you can see he's got these mini small slimes that pop out as well they're kind of more like minecraft than the boss himself wait let's finish this guy off I don't know if he has like a guy inside him because usually the King Slime has like a ninja dude just inside, but I don't really think he does. Oh, okay. The money that drops is actually XP orbs from Minecraft. Wait, let me zoom in. These are literally Minecraft XP orbs that flash. Oh, that's super cool. Okay, now we need it to be nighttime for none other than the Eye of Cthulhu himself. And this suspicious looking eye item looks a little bit different. So I'm actually excited for this. Night time is time for the Eye of Cthulhu. Okay, where is he? Oh, okay. He just looks like a giant Eye of End. Wait, let me put super bright on. Okay, there we go. Now we can see. Wait, let's try and hit him down so he reaches his second form. Because... Oh, there we go. I hit him down too much. Okay, he's going to die. That wasn't the plan. <laughs> I forgot that some of my weapons do too much damage. Oh, snap. Wait, I didn't see that. The Minecraft zombie? That looks sick. Okay, right. Let's hit him down with this Minecraft diamond sword because it's not very good. Okay, going to phase two. Okay, spinning. He's going to phase two. Oh, snap. Okay, that's kind of wild. He looks like he's got a gaping ender portal. Is that an ender portal? Or like... It looks like he's got an ender portal in his mouth. And also, these particles are pretty crazy. Look at these particles coming off him. Oh, snap. It kind of looks underwhelming, though, when he lunges at me because he just moves really slow. Okay, that boss was pretty cool, though. Not gonna lie. Next up, Queen Bee. So we're in the hive. So basically, there are bees in Minecraft. So this is a kind of simple one, right? But what I've just realized is he looks just like that bee boss in that Minecraft mod called, I think it's Forest Craft. I'll try and put a picture on screen, but he looks just like that queen bee off that mod. So I don't know if they've modeled it off that Minecraft mod, but this looks super cool. Wait, I want to see... Oh, there we go. Right, let's go see the mini bees. So these mini bees kind of look more like normal Minecraft bees, right? The, the shape of Minecraft bees, because... 
The normal Minecraft bees do not look like this giant boss. I like the blocky style. What they've kind of done is they've tried to keep Minecraft's art style, but kind of still made it make sense that these are like Terraria bosses, okay? So they've not like tried to fully copy the Minecraft bee boss because it'll look kind of weird. Okay, you all know what it's time for. I'm over at the dungeon at night time. And you can see the old man at the dungeon is just like a Minecraft villager now. He's like some shady old villager. Even though like all the villagers in Minecraft are all like young and they just look the same. This dude's like a rare one. You know what that means. So as for Skeletron, he looks cool. But if you listen really carefully, he makes those bone noises, the actual like skeleton bone noises from Minecraft. And when you break his hands, he also makes a zombie sound. I don't know if you heard that. But yeah, simple but sweet. He looks like a normal Minecraft skeleton, but also kind of like, I don't know. He looks like some weird Frankenstein like mutation. I don't know, some like weird like test tube baby that like shouldn't exist. Oh, there's Minecraft bones that fly out though. That's cool. That's like a little added touch. So the brain of Cthulhu, he basically summons these flying mini creeper heads which just look super cool. Wait, let's try and hit this guy down to phase two as well. Okay, when we beat him down a little bit, wait, I think he's going to phase two. He's below half HP. Oh, snap. Okay, he opens up with this like beaten heart looking creeper face. He dies pretty quick though. I forgot how OP the sword was. Okay, what I want to know is the each of worlds changed. Okay, let's spawn the worm food. Where's this bad boy? Oh, snap. Okay, so he kind of looks like some aesthetic where it's like a robot looking obsidian worm. I know Minecraft doesn't actually you really have a worm boss but okay this is pretty cool it's a little bit different right but its aesthetic definitely fits the corruption i really like like the purples and the colors to be honest it probably fits the corruption more than the actual <laughs> normal terraria of world boss look at all that juicy exp as well i love those exp orbs okay time to spawn the era of flesh and you can see this guide voodoo doll is literally just a villager again <laughs> that's pretty cool Ooh, is he gonna okay this is gonna be an exciting one. Oh snap okay so he literally just has three crazy wither skulls with some of these like mini ones coming off on appendages this dude's like super terrifying but in like a good way i guess imagine running into this dude like down in a hell world irl uh, that's honestly pretty wild okay i'm gonna use this like solar eclipse weapon to kill this boss I know it's cheating to use hard mode weapons, but that's just absolutely, like, gonna give me nightmares, that boss. Okay, time for the mechanicals. So, let's summon the eyes first. So, retinaser and spasmatism. So... They're kind of the same as the Eye of Cthulhu, right? But they have the Ender Eye still, just like different colors, because one of them's purple, and then the other one's green. And obviously there isn't like a green dimension or color in Minecraft, but I still kind of like them. I'm gonna knock them down a bit until they do the transformation. Because I kind of want to see... Okay, right. This this dude's spinning. Right, so he kind of turns robotic. He kind of looks like that netherite monstrosity mob from, I think it's Minecraft Dungeons. Wait, does this dude look the same as well? Wait. Oh, I think he's just... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that art style. So he kind of looks like the netherite monstrosity. And also one thing... Wait, let me respawn them again. One thing that I really liked is it has like that Minecraft chain that like binds them together. The explosion noise when they die is super cool. Wait, just listen. It's like the TNT sound, right? That's so satisfying. Okay, right. Skeletron Prime is next up. So again, kind of the same as Skeletron, right? But I don't think they've actually changed him. I don't know if there's like... I guess they haven't really updated him. Oh no, wait. The head's glitched because like the arms have changed. And they still have that like netherite monstrosity vibe that the eyes did. But for some reason, like my texture pack, like the original Skeletron head is just still there. I don't know if like one of my mods isn't like messing it up. But for some reason, like they changed the whole like body. But they haven't changed the head. Okay, that's kind of weird. Or at least I think they have. Maybe my memory's just bad. This is an interesting one because this dude is the bane of my existence. So kind of like the Eater, but still cool. I mean, these mech bosses are super cool, right? Yeah, just the same vibe. All the mechanical mobs just have that like same netherite monstrosity vibe from Minecraft Dungeons. I kind of like the art style. They all kind of share the same look. I've always hated this boss though. I, it's a good job I've got God Mode on right now. Also in the daytime, I do want to mention, there's actually some really cool backgrounds. Like when we go to this ice biome, which by the way, looks awesome. We have this kind of icy background and then it transitions into this end background. 
background. There's some really cool art. Like, the art is pretty basic, but there's actually some really cool art in this pack. You can see we have this weird, like, blood-looking purgatory background here in the crimson. Also, look at some of these mobs, like this, like, evil cow. I'll show you more of those Minecraft mobs later, though. Not all of the backgrounds have been changed, though, as you can see. Okay, now let's check out the Queen Slime. So, her art style is kind of like an Ender Slime. Interesting art choice. Okay, let's attack the Queen Slime down a little bit because I want to see her actually fly because I think at some point, yeah, she has some wings. Look at these wings. Like, how on earth? She's basically a big fat blob, right? How on earth are these tiny little wings supposed to, like, lift her into the sky and propel her? Like, she's just absolutely huge. That, <laughs> that just looks so goofy. But I have to say, though, these little flying minions that she spawns and these small things, super underrated. They look kind of cool. Not gonna lie. Now, for one of the absolute coolest mini bosses, the Flying Dutchman Pirate Boss. You guys are gonna absolutely love this. I have to say this is one of the coolest in the mod. It's basically like a flying netherite ship, which is decorated with gold blocks. There's like four small nether portals here with some weird gas eyes below and these gas tentacles, which like basically propel the ship forward. We have this shark looking mouth on the end. So it kind of looks like a sea monster, just like the Flying Dutchman ship actually looks like in Pirates of the Caribbean. And then we have like the pirate captain and like all these different pirate deck hands just hanging off the ship. Super cool look. I think this is honestly one of my favorites. So let's just damage this down. I don't know if like destroying it, there's some cool animation or if it drops anything. So we'll just like destroy some of these eyes. And you can see these netherite, these piglin pirates just, just drop in like the most brutal fashion ever and just die. They just get flung out of the ship when it gets blown up. I do want to show you something real cool, right? Because these piglins actually replace all the pirate mobs in game. So you can see we have the pirate deckhand, the corsair, which is like a hoglin, deadeye, crossbower, captain, pirate, and pirate's curse, which I really think probably should have been replaced with the vex instead because they're more like ghosts. Different piglin variants for each pirate variant. They kind of really went the extra mile with this one. Now, some of these are from Minecraft Dungeons, granted and some of them are from vanilla like you can see this one which i think is from dungeons is actually tradable so we can actually trade with this guy and buy all the pirate gear too so duke fish run has always bugged me okay and he's going to continue to bug me but this duke is an elder guardian which kind of fits in with the theme of the sea right now i do want to see his attacks you can see he spawns these kind of cuboid shapes but one thing i do want to see is i don't know how much we have to damage him down but he has those water pillars which i really want to see i don't know which phase that's in he also has these like pike abilities and he shoots these bubbles wait let's damage him down a little bit okay let's get him below half hp i think he's now going into phase two so he's going to get more vicious now he's in phase three, so he's firing more of these balls. Here we go, right, so you can see these water waves that he spawns are kind of like pixelated, just like Minecraft textures, I guess. And they're much more intimidating. And then we also have his minions, which are just mini guardians, right? Because he changes color to his green shade. He summons mini guardians. So it's kind of like you're going into like an ocean monument in Minecraft, right? Because we have all the different types of guardians here. Very cool, very swag. I like it. Okay, so down into the jungle temple right now, which has been changed, by the way, a lot brighter and less depressing than the brown vibe from vanilla. Now, these are usually boring, but I like these a lot. And you can see if we zoom in, they've also changed those annoying lizards to be like plant people. In fact, they kind of look what Plantera looks like. They look like Plantera. I'll show you in a moment. But you can see some mobs around, so I may as well show you. Like, there's a weird, like, creeper spider hybrid here for the jungle creeper. So that's terrifying, I guess. Let's start with Plantera. Plantera Terra kind of looks like a lush leaf, like Minecraft. You see these like open mouth things, which are modeled off those like Minecraft live mobs that didn't get added to the game. But I think they might be getting added to the game. But it kind of just reminds me of like one of those purple flowers of Minecraft with those like lush leaf pink vibes to it kind of like with the whole azalea leaf look i do want to damage him down into phase two though phase two completely changes again you can see she goes all blocky just like the minecraft style and she turns into one of those mobs right but what about the golem though because the golem's always been a tough mob so i think this dude is modeled after the jungle abomination mob which i think is yet again another dungeons mob he's kind of like a living tree right like something out of Mo Creatures mod from Minecraft. Wait, let's damage his arm. And then he's going to have to go into that like weird head mode in phase three. When he goes into phase three, he basically has these awesome looking glowing eyes, which just looks super sweet though. Okay, the coolest mob ever, the lunatic cultist, the man, the myth, the legend. But when he takes down his hood, I'm not going to lie, this is my absolute favorite. It's none other than our boy Herobrine himself. And there's the OG Minecraft hit sounds. Wait, let me see if I can show you. 
super super cool particles he fired those iconic round magma blocks but the coolest part about this is when his duplicates come up he summons this massive command block and then this blocky red phantasmal dragon comes out of it super sinister stuff this is honestly my favorite boss not gonna lie now you may not find this funny but if you've seen the torch god boss in terraria which is literally just a torch they've actually replaced that with the minecraft torch like literally you've just changed the torch god to a minecraft torch <laughs> that's actually pretty funny and also makes sense right this is the most underwhelming boss in terraria though now i just want to scroll through a whole bunch of items that got changed some have some haven't since there's way too many to go over though i'll just kind of show you a few different categories in the item spawner to give you an idea and then you can stop the video and kind of check it out yourself so for an example the furnace is actually being changed into the minecraft furnace and you can see some of the boss summon items here i don't think any of the weapons have been changed though i can't really see that they've changed any weapons although the explosive bunny has been changed into a minecraft bunny which is also pretty iconic also they added the creeper items so i'm just gonna add those as vanity items right so i can look like a creeper <laughs> that looks pretty cool a creeper who throws explosive bunnies also, the blocks tab literally is a dirt block, which I like. Like, dirt and dirt walls is literally now Minecraft dirt. Also, the treasure bag for the Eye of Cthulhu and King Slime literally have been changed too to, like, a Minecraft slime. Then there's also a creeper for the Brain of Cthulhu and, like, just an ender eye for the Eye of Cthulhu. Some of these boss bags have been changed. Furniture's cool, like, the wooden Minecraft door is now in the game. And Minecraft chests also in the game too. Wait, can I spawn a chest? Look at those Minecraft chests. And they open the same too, and the UI's been changed changed now there's way too many to go over right but i do want to go over some of the pets because i think some of these pets have been changed too so i'm going to go ahead and just add the ones which have different sprites to them because i know those ones have been changed okay let's try some of these pets so we have a few pets based on like some of the bosses they're like minecraft style so i'm just gonna go ahead and spawn a few of them you guys should know which ones they replace this one's like a bee but the icon is a cow a moo bloom i don't know why deactivated probe the robotic skull this one which i think is based off the golem and then also like pork of the sea which is obviously duke fish from now since we checked out some of the bosses earlier i am just gonna go ahead and spawn some mobs just to kind of show you yeah again there's so many of them so i'm just gonna kind of spawn a cluster of them which is gonna be kind of confusing we have the guide we have skeletons the dryad even all the npcs have actually been changed too and what's cool is the goblins so when you have a goblin invasion have literally been changed to actually depict pillagers so when you you have like a goblin invasion it's basically just pillager raid and they break into emeralds too so when you kill pillagers they just like break into a cluster of emeralds we have blazers to replace the fire imps the groom is just literally a zombie with a top hat on <laughs> The floating enchanted sword, I think, is like a Minecraft sword. And, like, some of the goblin wizards and bound wizards and stuff are literally just, like, Minecraft mobs. Chaos Elementals are just these scary endermen. And also, you can even get a zombie riding on a chicken. Like, literally. Look at all these zombies just riding on chickens. <laughs> Also, Santa Claus. He is a Santa villager from Minecraft, but it's not Christmas, so he just automatically dies, which is a shame. Ice tortoises are now polar bears. We have frozen zombies, which should be in Minecraft, to be honest. There's even more, like, pumpkin zombies. There's so many different mobs, like little chickens and ducks. But yeah, this texture pack replaces so many terraria mobs into Minecraft. It's actually pretty insane. Even villager zombies. But that is Minecraft in Terraria by using Texture Pack to convert the whole game into a Minecraftified game, which is kind of a trippy experience, but pretty cool. And now we have one of these cute foxes again, which I'm now going to queue and say like the video and subscribe right now, because otherwise this fox is unfortunately going to die. Unfortunately, you didn't subscribe in time. Sorry. And make sure to subscribe for more Terraria and Minecraft mods videos. They'll be coming out real soon. See you next time.